In this lesson, we're going to take a look at adding radical expressions that haven't been simplified. So even though um, your radicals don't match, they might be able to be simplified so that they are like radicals. So let's take a look at these first, um, these first three examples. The first example, we have radical 12 plus radical 75 minus radical 3. Right now, our radicals are not like radicals. We cannot add them. But let's go ahead and simplify them. We're taking square roots, so we're looking for groups of 2. And we know that 12 factors into 4 times 3 and 4 factors into 2 times 2. So here's a nice group of 2 right here. So we're going to pull out a 2, and we have 3 remaining under our radical. How about if we simplify radical 75? Well, radical 75 is 3 times 25. And we know that radical and that 25 is 5 times 5. So we have a nice group of 2 here. We're going to pull out a 5, and our 3 remains under a radical. This is as simple as this one gets. So we have, now we have 2 square root of 3 plus 5 square root of 3 minus the square root of 3. All of our radicals have the same index and the same number underneath, so we can now add the numbers in front. We have 2 plus 5 is 7, minus 1 is 6. So we end up with 6 radical 3. Now in our next example, we're looking at cube roots, and all of our radicals here have cube roots. So let's go ahead and simplify each one of these. First off, 250 is 25 times 10, and 25 factors into 5 times 5, 10 is 5 times 2. So since we have a cube root, we're looking for groups of 3. So here's a nice group of 3. We're going to pull a 5 out, and we have a 2 left under our cube root. So now let's go ahead and simplify our next term, which is 6 times 9. 9 factors into 3 times 3. 6 factors into 2 times 3. So we have a nice group of 3 right here. So we'll pull that 3 out, and we have the cube root of 2 left. And now let's take a look at 16. 16 factors into 4 times 4, and each of these factors into 2 times 2. So we have a nice group of 3 2's right here. We'll, we'll go ahead and pull one of those 2's out, and we will leave that last one under our radical. Now we have like radicals. They all have an index of 3, and we have the number 2 underneath them. They're like radicals, so we can now add and subtract the numbers in front. 5 plus 3 is 8, minus 2 is 6. We now have 6 cube root of 2. Last example. Before we move into this example um, and start doing it, I want you to notice that we have variables under our radical. So now we're going to simplify both the number and the variable. When we factor uh, 216, we get, let's see, I know that 4 goes in. 4 goes into this 5 times, 54 times. This factors into 2 times 2. This is going to factor into 3 times 3 times 3 times 2. And we're looking for a square root. So when we simplify this, we're looking for groups of 2. And we have a nice group of 2 2's here and a nice group of 2 3's here. So we're going to pull a 2 and a 3 out, which gives us a 6 on the outside. But we still have 1 2 and 1 3 left over. And so we're going to still have the square root of 6. But let's take a look at our y's. We have two y's here, and we're looking for groups of 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 with a remainder of 0. So we're going to pull out one of our y's, and we have no y's left underneath. So now let's move on to 54. And when we factor, we get 6 times 9, which is 9 factors into 3 times 3, and this is 2 times 3. We're looking for groups of 2. This is our only group of 2. 
So we're going to pull out a 3. Here again we have y squared. We'll pull out one of our y's. And we have a 2 and a 3 left, so 2 times 3 is 6. So now our radicals are both square roots, and we have 6 underneath, so we can add the terms on the outside. 6y plus 3y is 9y radical 6.